I've seen firsthand that the distress that farming families are experiencing um, simply because they have a bad year or two where they might have a case where the herd goes down with TB. Then they have the vulture fund, a faceless entity, coming in hot and heavy and make no allowance whatsoever because the vulture funds are only interested in the short term. Today shows you that the true voice of Ireland, that represents all of Ireland, is the independence. The independents are the only people in this country that are the true voice of Ireland. The rural independents have been consistent for the last number of years since we've been in, in government. We are consistent for representing the area of where we come from. This impairment farm bill is so important, not only for the protection of the farm, but the protection of the family home. We know as rural TDs how important it is to have farming in our area. When farming does well, our communities do well. It's a spin-off. But we have seen vulture funds trying to take farms, family homes, have been aided and abetted by government. Also, farming in this country is probably the only industry that has to change when there's a change of government. We see every time there's a change of government and we can look at Eamon Ryan, what he wants to do at the flick of a switch, he wants everything to change. But how much change has he done to farming? How much change have the government caused for the vulture funds to allow them to come in and take family homes and family farms? A lot of the cause of this is government and their policies and what they're trying to implement. As again, fertiliser costs put farmers under pressure. Energy costs put farming under pressure. Producing a food for us to eat puts farming under pressure. Yet there is no protection for the farm or the family home, or the family that lived there. So this impaired farm bill is here to protect the family home, protect the farm, but also to protect the communities in Ireland that depend on the farming. So I thank everyone for coming out this morning, and I appreciate everything that you're doing, but just remember, the only true voice of Ireland, it has been proven over the last two and a half, three years, is the independents, and they are the rural independents are the most consistent group of independents that stand up for everybody in Ireland. Thank you. The IFE estimate that two and a half thousand to three thousand farms are in jeopardy of being gobbled up by vulture funds or banks uh, in every year. This is a huge amount of farmers that are under massive amount of stress. Uh, the worry of losing their farms, obviously, their income, but also the worry of, of losing their homes, uh, leading to, as I say, a huge amount of stress and in many cases suicide, which is uh, very high in relation to uh, farmers in, in rural Ireland. Uh, the protections, we want to put in a set of protections here in relation to the, f the family farm and certainly and more important than anything else is to make sure that the vulture funds do not get their hands on these farms. This is what the government unfortunately have set in place in this country, is vulture funds picking at people, picking, taking their farms that they ha worked hard for. Yes, farmers, like everybody else, get into debt, and farmers do fully intend, like everybody else, to pay their debts, and 99.9% .9 of them that I know want to work their way around the debt, but are being destroyed by a vulture fund that don't want to listen to any reason, or don't want to set in place a plan uh, for a farmer to get uh, credit, get low interest loans, to try and work his way out of the problems that he's in. So our bill tonight sets that in motion. I sincerely hope that every TD in the country will support this bill tonight. It's, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great achievement for the rural independent to put forward this bill, but it's there. It's there to set a, a kind of a, a safeguarding for family farms. So it's time now for the state to wake up. It's time for the government to stop backing their buddies in the vulture funds. Um, our, we bailed out our, our, our banks before. Our banks have let us down on many times since, even in recent times with their attempts to make themselves cashless, thinking they can get away with it. Aided and abetted, I will say, by, by, by ministers in here, because they had to know what was going on, or the officials had to know what was going on. But I'm delighted that we were able to put forward this impaired farm uh, credibility, and my colleagues here would like to talk further. I've seen firsthand that the distress 
that farming families are experiencing um, simply because they have a bad year or two where they might have a case where the herd goes down with TB then they have the vulture fund a faceless entity coming in hot and heavy and make no allowance whatsoever because the vulture funds are only interested in the short term they're not interested in looking down in, in terms of the long term um, or in terms of farming that you can have a bad year or two as I've referred to but as I said I've seen the level of distress firsthand in my own constituency of Leith Offaly and I warmly welcome this bill. I do think that it's high time that the balance was tipped in favour of farming families for too often the banks have had it all of their own way. We've seen that you know they were bailed out to the tune of 45 billion euro and I know that research from NUI in Galway has always has also shown that there's a very high level and high numbers of repossessions taking place. Indeed, the farming organisations have also confirmed that and they believe that it could be up to 3,000 farms affected. So I believe it's high time that there's legislative protections for farming families and for those who contribute to our economy in the way they do and for fairness and justice and that's what this bill is about it's about fairness it's about justice i warmly welcome this bill and i do hope that uh, we will see other TDs, particularly the opposition TDs, who are always jumping up and down, and never have solutions, of course. We're bringing forward a bill, but there's some of them in there never have solutions. Um, you know, they, they tend to jump up and down with, with uh, empty rhetoric. and So they have an opportunity now to support this bill. And uh, in particular, I'm calling out on Sinn Féin to support this bill. They've been vocal on this issue, so let's hope they support it. Thank you.